Hi everyone, I'm Daniela and today I have a, well, slightly different video. Uh, Fishcars sent me a, a box with some of their supplies and I'm gonna do an unboxing today. For full disclosure, I did not pay for this, so these are a gifted product. I'm also gonna do a tutorial today. I'm gonna show you how to make a macrame keychain, so if you wanna just skip ahead, I'll leave the time uh, right here below on the screen where you can click. The box just arrived this week from France actually and I've been waiting for the weekend so I could open it up and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's inside. So let's get started. Alright so uh, this is uh, the box that they sent me uh, and I guess I'm gonna have to use a non fishker's scissor to open it. Maybe I should have chosen an exacto knife. All right. Ta -da -da. So here it is. Bubble wrap. So right on top of the box is a rotating cutting mat. Uh, it has 35 by 35 centimeters and I think it's a rotating one because it has the same measurements all across so you can just cut your fabric strips or paper strips in any direction it has some instructions here on the back as well Oh, I see. So I think that the mat itself rotates. I think it has a base in which it rotates in. Wow, that's cool. I'm gonna show you how it works later. So this is how it works. It has these two parts that fit together, so you can rotate it around the base. Second thing, uh, a folding ruler. This is going to be really awesome uh, for sewing, for cutting uh, the fabric. Uh, this one has, it's in inches, so uh, this is uh, 6 by 24 inches. Oh, Alright, so on to the next thing. Uh, it's a scissor sharpener. I've never used one of these before. I think I need to test this out on my scissors because I, I do have some really dull ones that don't really cut at least fabric anymore. I'm just gonna wait here a while until the dog stops. Until the dog stops barking. Next, it's a rotary, rotary, rotary cutter, easy blade change, easy blade change, it says easy blade change rotary cutter, that's the name, it is a 45 millimeter one. Next is a soft grip art knife, it has the soft gripped part right here and it seems pretty sturdy. Next! Oh! Scissors! Oh gosh, this is really cute. Uh, it's a special edition one. Uh, universal scissor. Oh, and, and it's like purple slash burgundy. Also, there's another scissors in here. Uh, it's a white one. Uh, Non-stick universal purpose. Also 21 centimeters. It's also really pretty. Oh, these are going to look great on my photos as props as well. Oh, this one is... Uh, oh, I thought this one was uh, coming out of the package. Uh, it's a pivoting rotary cutter. Easy blend chain. Bl blah, blah, blah. Can I speak anymore? Uh, it's a pivoting rotary cutter with easy blade change. 
Uh, it's a 45 centimeter one. It looks really strange. It says right here uh, in the package that it has three positions. So yeah, I'm guessing it's these three that are photographed on the package itself. Cool. And I'm guessing this is the last one. Let, let me see. Yeah. So uh, this is a precision cutting and carving set. So it's exacto knives or an exacto blades. Wow, there's so many. I think that's uh, it has real a lot of blades. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Let me open this one up. So it comes with this, it co it's this set, and it comes with this really cute package. Wow, this is so cute! Mm -hmm. ah. I'm gonna take it out. And the last thing is a note from Fishkart. Uh, it says, Hi Daniela, please find enclosed some products. Uh, we have the pleasure to offer you for your next tutorials. Kind regards. Thank you so much Fishkart. This was awesome. These are really gonna be great for my next videos. And I can't wait to try these out on like real projects. So, like I said on the beginning of the video, let's just jump right in with the macrame kitchens tutorial. This is also a great way to test these scissors out. Oh, and I forgot to mention that uh, all the fish curd supplies along with the measurements and the materials for uh, the keychains will be listed in the description box below. So, let's get started. Cut 5 cords, each one with 1 meter or 40 inches. Get something to hold the keychain while you tie the knots. This will help a lot. I'm just using a watercolor pad and a clip. Tie each cord to the clasp with a lark's knot by folding the cord in half, creating a loop and placing the ends through it, around the metal piece. Do the same with the other 5 cords. Then I like to do a simple half inch knot across the top to secure. To do that, grab the cord on the left, all the other knots will be tied around this one, so I'll call it my running cord. Pull it to the right side, grab the other cord that was next to it, cross it over and in through the loop. Do the same with the next cord, pull the running cord over it and to the right, then take the next cord and tie it around. Keep repeating the knots until you finish the row. Once you have that, pull half of the cords to each side. Take the left middle cord, this will be our new running cord, 
and cross it over to the left. Take the other below it and tie it around by uh, crossing it over and in through the loop. Repeat the knot twice so you have a double half hitch knot. Keep on holding the running cord, take the next one under it and repeat the knots. They will do this somewhat naturally, but make sure the knot is tied slightly lower than the previous one, so it creates the diagonal shape we want. Repeat the knots until you reach the end of the row. Do the same thing on the other side, grab the cord on the left and tie all the other ones around it. Now that you have half of the diamond shape, you can start closing it up and adding the bead. Grab the cord on the left and tie two other cords around it. Do the same to the other side. Then add a wooden bead to the cords in the center. on tying the knots on both sides until the centers meet. Once you get to the center, simply tie the other cord around the one you're using as the running cord. Carry on tying the rest of the row while creating another diamond shape. To finish it off, you can simply tie the ends together, but you'll end up with a bulky knot that is not so pretty, so I decided to tie only one of the cords around to cinch the others together. Do this by simply wrapping the cord around and then place the end through the loop. I did this four times. Cut the excess on the ends and that is it!
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and maybe you can leave me some suggestions or comments in the comment section below. If you make one of my projects, you can tag me on Instagram at curlymate so I can see it and I can add it to my highlights where I keep all of your projects. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!